আনিশা আমরা লাইভে চলে গেছি আপু আসসালামু আলাইকুম এন্ড গুড ইভিনিং एवरीवन welcome to aisis family i think uh, you guys all are doing fine alhamdulillah as uh, we are locked down so many times uh, just because of uh, covid 19 uh, but aisis family it's like uh, never leave us always connected with us like a family we can learn so many things and uh, we can connect with the overseas teachers also just because of aisis family uh, like we have already seen before our two session we have uh, different countries teacher join with us from nepal and india also so uh, hello everyone uh, i am anisha tasnim uh, from from the today uh, from today i am your moderator for the whole program and today's topic is chronic periodontitis as you all know exis dental school arranged uh, a great uh, paper presentation competition and uh, i think it's a great opportunity to show all of our uh, all of our curricular activities and also our brilliant presentation and we can learn so many things from our teachers so uh, today's topic is uh, chronic periodontitis and uh, uh, our team name is bracery and uh, we have three judges professor dr mohammad jahid hussain sir pds pgt phd division of periodontics department of preventive dental science college of dentistry nazar university kingdom of saudi arabia sir assalamu alaikum and dr anupam poddar sir our very known oh, teacher of exis family associate professor ah. and head department of periodontology and oral pathology dhaka dental college sir assalamu alaikum and dr mohammad nasim haider sir assistant professor and head department of periodontology and pathology sir solimulla medical college assalamu alaikum sir sir uh, thanks from exus family to connect it with us uh, and today we have three participant akila choudhury uh, chatogram international dental college session 2017-18 pith de City Dental College and Hospital, uh, Session 2017-18, and Devish Chakraborty from Holy Family Dentistry Medical College, Session 2017-18. Welcome all of you guys, and uh, I think today's competition is a very tough competition as all of you from the same session 2017-18. So it's quite tough. Uh, so sir, uh, for the, before starting the program, I request to Dr. Mohammad Jahid Hussain sir. to deliver some your valuable speech from uh, for today's live thank you so much dr An uh, anisa are you a doctor or a student no sir i am um, student i am student of fourth okay. year okay. Okay. thank you so much uh, assalamu alaikum good evening uh, it's a really great initiative taken by accidental school i Uh, I uh, have uh, some, uh, I mean, uh, communication before. Also, I had some uh, some lectures I delivered uh, for the third year students in uh, our country. Uh, this is really uh, uh, this program makes our students as well as young dentists uh, more uh, interested about the periodontology study in Bangladesh, as because uh, we have. no post graduation course in bangladesh so that our students as well as doctors they are not getting much interest in periodontology but we know that periodontology is the base of all dental disciplines as because periodontology deals with the uh, structure that hold the tooth in the jaw so if the structures are not well or unhealthy the tooth will be ultimately Uh, loosen and exfoliate so uh, you know worldwide periodontal diseases uh, people are every three person you will find one periodontal disease suffering people though they are not so much aware about it as because they this this very slow growing disease uh, and uh, periodontitis is the last stage of periodontal disease that makes people much more sufferings uh, not only loss of tooth but also it makes the people uh, i mean with the uh, life threatening events can occur from periodontitis uh, as you know that lot of disease related to periodontitis related to diabetes hypertension uh, rheumatoid arthritis pregnancy uh, different types of uh, defects as the low birth weight babies and many more 
maybe almost all organs of the body are now uh, i mean affected by the periodontal disease special periodontitis so today's topic is a really very much important topic and this topic uh, will give our uh, students as well as our young dentist more knowledge about periodontitis uh, its uh, etiology its uh, signs symptoms uh, its complications and treatment and prevention policy so thank you so much for uh, inviting me to join this uh, program as a judge i especially thank uh, accident <coughs> school organizers and dr anupam poddar so we wish you all the very best i am with you the whole session inshallah thank you so much sir uh, right now uh... I request to deliver your valuable speech, Dr. Anupam Poddar, sir. Please say something about today's competition. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear oh, you. Okay. Thank you, Anisha Tatsuni, today's moderator. Very good evening, all. Today's 3rd September 2021. It is the eighth session of paper presentation competition organized by Accidental school and his even management team. Today's topic is chronic periodontitis. This is the very much important topic in periodontology. I hope every presenter will uh, give us the very valuable information. And today's group's name is Gracie's. Today's honorable judges are Professor Dr. Jahid Oshen, who is the Division of Periodontics. Uh, Department of uh, Preventive uh, Dental Science, Nazran University, Saudi Arabia, and me, Dr. Nupam Poddar, Assistant Professor and Head, Department of Periodontology and Oral Pathology, Dhaka Dental College. And also, Dr. Mohammad Nasim Haidar is the uh, Assistant Professor and Head, Department of Periodontology and Oral Pathology, Sir Salamullah Medical College, Dental Lady. And our beloved presenter are Akila Choudhury from CIDC and BT Day from City Dental College, and uh, Devesh Chakraborty from Holy Family Medical College in Kalini. Best wishes to our presenter and welcome our judges, and thanks to Accidental School for arranging such like extra super activities in your platform by group of young management team, like Dr. Farhad, Rehana Parbin et al. Thank you all. Thank you so much, sir. And right now, uh, I want to tell Dr. Mohammad Nasim Hadar, please, sir, say something about today's competition. Assalamu alaikum. Can you hear me? Wa alaikum assalam, sir. Yes, sir, I can hear uh, you. Thank you, Anisa Tasneem. And thanks to my Dada Anupam Puddar and also the professor, Dr. M.D. Zaidosan, and being honored to join with you and with the Exit Dental School, the competition today's competition. So uh, hopefully we enjoy this competition and I think so it is very much affordable and very much education research program for the uh, periodontology subjects. So hopefully we enjoy tonight to this program. Thank you very much. Thank you so much sir. Uh, so right now uh, I want to Tell Dr. I want to tell Akila Choudhury uh, and BT Day and also Devish Chakraborty. Are you ready, guys, to show your presentation? Yes, we are ready, I think. Okay, so all the best. And at first, Akila Choudhury, right? Yes. Okay, then uh, you can start right now. And uh, let me clear one thing. You guys all, uh, your time is only 10 minutes to complete the whole presentation. And after eight minutes, I will give, give you a signal. And in the next two minutes, you have to complete the whole presentation. Okay, understood. Any more question about today's line? No. Okay, then uh, your time starts right now. So firstly, I will share my screen. Please yeah. do tell me if you can see it. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, we can see it. Everything is all right. And oh. you can start right now. Your time starts right now. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. And a big thank you to everybody involved for making this competition a reality. 
and a big thank you to every, uh, to our respected judges uh, for overseeing this competition. I am really thankful for this opportunity, and it is it's, it's a good evening to start learning periodontology. Let me introduce myself. My name is Akira Chudhuri. I am currently uh, studying in Chattanooga International Dental College in BDS fourth year, and my session is 2017 and 2018. Here you can see uh, this is my uh, sorry, this is my campus, and uh, the upper left corner is the monogram of my college. It says Ikra. So let's get started. Chronic periodontitis, if uh, in very basic languages, it refers to as uh, chronos. A uh, chronic origin is from chronos, which is a Greek letter, a Greek word, and it means time or off time. And periodontitis, we know, anyone that is involved in the medical profession, we all know that anything, mm. that, any word that has itis at the end of it refers to the inflammation of that organ or tissue. So chronic periodontitis basically stands for inflammation of the periodontium. Uh, that has been there for a significant period of time. Now, if we're discussing the contents of uh, chronic periodontitis, periodontal disease and chronic periodontitis is a very vast topic, and we have to uh, cover a lot of content. Uh, so me with my fellow presenters, we will be covering uh, certain uh, topics of this content, and we will review it at the end. Uh, but for me, as the first presenter, I will be covering the introduction, history, classification, etiology, disease progression and prevalence of chronic periodontitis. So firstly, as introduction, and obviously we will review it. So firstly, the introduction. What is chronic periodontitis? For that, we must know firstly what periodontitis is defined as. It is defined as an inflammatory disease of the supporting tissues of the teeth, which is the periodontium, and it is caused by specific microorganisms or groups of specific microorganisms which result in progressive destruction of the periodontal ligament. And with due time, uh, even with the loss of attachment of the bone, we will also see uh, loss of attach epithelial attachment and through the destruction of the alveolar bone, we might even see uh, increased probing disc formation, gingival recession, or both. Chronic periodontitis is one of the most common and one of the most prevalent forms of periodontitis. And even though it is uh, one of its synonym is known as adult periodontitis, it can also be observed in children and others, and also in adolescents. And it, chronic periodontitis is mostly associated with accumulations of plaque and calculus. And it, uh, disease, uh, this disease has a slow to moderate progression rate. Now the history. To know, since uh, medical science is a constantly changing field and it is very, so very dynamic, we must know where we have come so far in our medical advancement. So give, me, give you a basic rundown of our history of periodontal disease. Periodontal diseases weren't initially known as periodontal diseases. They were firstly known as bone destroying gum disease. And after the discovery, of, after American dentist John Briggs termed it as periodontal diseases, it was also known as Briggs disease. So what Dirk's disease was described as, it was a purulent inflammation of the dental periosteum, which we now know as the periodontium. And then back in the 20th century, uh, Gillette Hayden and Grace Rogers calling, they led to the establishment of the first national organization that focused on the diagnosis and treatment of periodontal disease, uh, the academy that we now know as American Academy of Periodontology. Classification is very important in knowing uh, where we can assess our disease. Chronic periodontitis, it can be majorly divided according to its extent and according to its severity. Whenever a patient presents with a chronic periodontitis, through the knowledge of classification, we can properly assess where the patient stands in terms of the disease. So before we learn that, we must understand the disease distribution of chronic periodontitis. It is said to be a site-specific disease, which means that one side of the teeth may be affected very badly, whereas the other sides of the disease might be unaffected and normal. So due to this property, due to this site-specific uh, property of chronic periodontitis, inflammation, periodontal focus, attachment loss, and bone loss can be seen in certain aspects of the tooth, while we may or may not see in other parts of that tooth. Then we have, in addition to being <clears throat> site-specific, chronic periodontitis can be vastly majored into localized and generalized uh, chronic periodontitis. And that we can assess when we assess the patient's oral cavity upon evaluation, if less than 30% of the site that we evaluated demonstrate attachment loss and bone loss, 
we will term it as localized chronic gingivitis. But if we see upon evaluation, more than 30% of the oral cap of the tooth, the periodontium uh, has been seen assessed as uh, seeing bone loss and uh, attachment loss. We will refer to as generalized chronic periodontitis. The pattern of the bone loss can be both horizontal and vertical. Then again, according to the disease severity, when a patient presents with periodontitis, upon assessing, upon assessing the clinical attachment loss, we get divided in, into three types. Firstly, mild periodontitis. That is if the clinical attachment loss is about one to two millimeter. Then if, in case of moderate periodontitis, we can here see, in the picture, we can see that there is noticeable gingival recession. We can see a bit of the tooth root. So we can assess it as moderate periodontitis as the clinical attachment loss is also estimated to be three to four millimeters. Then in the third picture, we can see there is significant gingival recession. There is very evident signs of inflammation and the clinical attachment loss is evidently more than five millimeters. So we can safely assess it as severe periodontitis. So to do a very quick recap, according to distribution, if the, if the distribution is less than 30%, it is localized. If it is more than 30%, it is generalized. And according to the clinical attachment loss, according to its disease severity, it can be mild, moderate, or severe. Now comes etiology. Etiology is a very important aspect to understand the concept of our disease. If you do not know the cause of your disease, then it will be very difficult for you to properly manage and treat the chronic periodontitis. Here, for the primary, uh, the primary factors which contribute to the causation or manifestation of periodontitis in most patients is the persistence of gingivitis, the lack of treatment, poor oral hygiene, local plaque traps preventing plaque, re preventing plaque removal. What happens is then usually in the case of uh, chronic period, uh, periodontitis. Abu, you have only two minutes left. Yes. So due to the persistence of gingivitis, the lack of treatment, the patient usually does not come into the care, and that is how the chronic periodontitis manifests. This leads to a vicious cycle, false pocketing, and that causes a frustration of anaerobic uh, plaque development that then due to being it untreated, it migrates onto the apex, and then it is self-perpetuating disease. Here we see certain prior history which predict our disease, local factors and systemic and environmental behavior factors. Certain systemic diseases are interrelated with periodontitis. Disease progression and prevalence is very important to know because periodontitis, chronic periodontitis is a very slow disease, but in certain cases, it can be aggravated, as you can see, and also in certain areas of the tooth, it can also be aggravated. Then in disease prevalence, usually it affects both sexes. It increases with age, but in case of the context of Bangladesh, usually about 26% of overall people suffer from uh, chronic periodontitis and, of, and according to many reviews we have seen that Bangladesh has one of the worst periodontal health in, uh, in, in case of global index. Globally also 20 to 50 percent diseases of the world are also affected through periodontitis. So in conclusion and review it is one of the most common forms. It, is, it has been previously documented in history as a bone affected gum disease. It is site specific, it is slow progressing and according to distribution and severity it can be classified it affects both men and women, but in case of Bangladesh, more men are seen to be affected. It has varied etiology, and if left untreated, it is self-perpetuating. And many reviews have observed that the prevalence of subjects the deep periodontal process in Bangladesh was 26%, which is, which is very, not very uh, bright in terms of periodontal health. Here is the references that I have used. The first ones are the textbook references, and I have also sourced many internet sources and internet journals, and these are them. And also, thank you very much for the word. Yes, thank you very much for listening. Thank you so much for your brilliant presentation. It's really amazing. I think uh, it's uh, all of you are very enjoying. Our next competitor, VT uh, Day. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, then uh, please start your presentation. Your time starts right now. Okay, sure. Uh, great starting of periodontitis uh, by uh, Akila Choudhury. Really impressive. Uh, can you hear us? Yeah, hear me? Yes, I can hear you. 
smiling is fun uh, with healthy teeth and gum, which is not possible when you have uh, oral diseases. Uh, good, more, good evening, uh, uh, my judges and my viewers. Today's my topic is chronic periodontitis and I am Bithide from City Dental College and Hospital and my session is 2017 and 18. Uh, our first presenter presented with the introductory part. Now I am going to continue. <clears throat> These are my contents, uh, microbiology, chemical factors, rich, rich factors, uh, pathological process and diagnosis. In chronic periodontitis, uh, microbial flora plays a continuous role. So I am going to start with microbiology, which is bacteria. Uh, 500 bacterial species present in the oral cavity. Each periodontal, contain, uh, periodontal pocket contains 3 to 100 types of microbial flora. The pocket contains 100 types of microorganisms. In these, 90% are anaerobic and 75% are gram-negative bacterial species. Some viruses can produce cytokines that interfere with neutrophil, macrophage, and uh, complement activity. Epstein Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, and other herpes virus are associated with chronic periodontitis. Now, chemical factors enzymes such as collagen, trypsin fibrinolysin and others uh, and cytotoxic, uh, cytotoxic metabolic products are indole, ammonia and hydrogen sulfide and leukotoxins and bone dissolving factors are atinomycos viscosas are chemical factors. Now let's talk about rich factors. In rich factor, consists of uh, local factor, systemic factor, prior history of periodon uh, periodontitis, environmental and behavioral factor, and lastly, genetic factor. In local factor like plaque accumulation, uh, which caused by poor oral hygiene, tooth malposition and restoration, preserve and quantity of certain bacteria whose defense, uh, whose defense uh, gingival restoration, uh, environment calculus and smoking, connective tissue distortion, such as genetic influence, genetic influence, um, inflammation, smoking and calculus, and lastly, loss of tooth attachment. In rich factor, here uh, I'm showing that some picture, those are local factors. In the first picture, you can see trauma of populations. And the second picture, there is plug retentive factors like calculus, which is deposited in the cervical margin of the teeth and radiographical image, we can see overhanging restoration, and last microorganism, which are responsible for chronic periodontitis. Now, system factor. In system factor, there is non-genetic factor and genetic factor. In non-genetic factor, undoubtedly, one of the major and main factor is smoking in chronic periodontitis. And second is diabetes, and others are nutri nutritional defect, osteoporosis, medication that causes drug induced gingival overgrowth. Now, let's talk about most importantly pathogenesis. Polymicrobial uh, synergy and dysbiosis is susceptible, susceptible host causes periodontitis. In this picture, we can see. Due to uh, influences of rich factor and etiological factor that causes a uh, breakdown of homeostasis, resulting in dysbiosis. Now, question is, what is dysbiosis? Dysbiosis is, to, is, a, uh, is a state in which former common shell behave as pro-inflammatory pathobionts uh, that causes inflammation that causes inflammation by the uh, uh, dysbiotic microbiota depends on uh, crosstalk signaling between complement and PRS. PRRS. Then uh, it causes inflammatory cell destruction of periodontal tissue, cause periodontitis, 
and then inflammatory tissue breakdown used as nut uh, nutrition that causes again dysbiosis and it's a, a pathological cycle pathological progress in chronic periodontitis first of all chronic periodontitis followed by destruction of periodontal ligament fiber resulting uh, alveolar bone resorption and it migrates epithelial attachment towards the apex and it's form a periodontal pocket and further again it's form gingival and ginger uh, ginger uh, subgingival plug and calculus and then again it's caused period, uh, chronic periodontitis previously as i said it's a pathological cycle now question is how can we diagnose a uh, uh, a case of chronic periodontitis we can uh, it can be diagnosed by two way like uh, clinically and radiologically now i will tell about clinical diagnosis in picture there uh, there is the inflamed gum also with a tooth and we can uh, uh, we also we also can do here probing pocket dip which is working out wrong, we can uh, here we can use a uh, periodontal cow. And the second picture, there is a clinical attachment loss. Uh, as we can see that there is different types of class uh, clinical attachment loss, which is class one, class two, and class three and four. In uh, clinical diagnosis, we can also do bleeding on provid, uh, provin. Here, we also can use uh, a um, periodontal probe and separation, which, uh, which is a gingival dish, uh, a chronic discharge of uh, gingival tissue. Vicky, there you have only two minutes left. Yeah, okay. And we also can do, uh, we also check tooth mobility, percussion in involvement with uh, caddies explorer, pathological tooth, uh, pathological tooth migrations. As uh, we say, uh, as I said that we also can do radi uh, radiographical diagnosis, which is uh, widening of periodontal, uh, periodontal space, loss of uh, particular, uh, Corticated interdental uh, crystal margin, localized and uh, generalized loss of uh, alveolar supporting bone, blunting of alveolar crest due to uh, beginning uh, due to beginning of uh, bone desorption. Also, we can uh, check that uh, bone loss, which is vertical bone loss, and also can be horizontal bone loss. Yeah, I think that's from um, from me, and these are my references. And before ending my uh, presentation, I would like to thank all of you, especially my mentors and organizer of Cis Dental School. And my, I'm very grateful to my viewers. And thank you, my judges and my moderator. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Uh, you already finished before your time. Your time is not over yet. Okay. Uh, then right now I want to inform Devesh Chakraborty. Please give me a um, one minute to my viewers. Uh, today's competitions. If you want to win Akila Chaudhuri, please uh, show your love reaction, care reaction. Sorry. And for Diti Day, love reaction. And for Devesh Chakraborty, like reaction. Okay, Devesh Chakraborty, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so your time starts right now. All the best. Respective judges, dear teachers, and my viewers, which are watching me throughout the social media, Namaskar and Adab. I'm Devish Chakraborty. I read in Holly Family Red Crescent Medical College Dental Units. My session is in 2017 and 18. Here are some pictures of my beautiful college. Uh, today's our topic is chronic uh, periodontitis and my two group members are recently talked about it. I'm the, I uh, presented the third part, third part of this presentation. <coughs>
Whereas my contents, my contents are diagnosis, treatment, prognosis of periodontal disease, complication, and general principle of management. So uh, my last participant, uh, Vithi Day, uh, who talked uh, detailed about clinical diagnosis, but now I am just summarized it clinical diagnosis, which is consist of inflammation of the marginal gingiva, extent the attached gingiva, clinical attachment loss and radiograph in case of bone loss. So the radiographic features, here we can see the widening of periodontal ligament space, loss of corticated interdental crystal margin and localized or generalized loss of alveolar supporting bone. And the lastly, blunting of the alveolar crest due to beginning of bone resorption. So now this is the very important topic, I guess the treatment to be aware from the chronic periodontitis. There are two types of uh, treatment which consist of non-surgical therapy and surgical therapy. In non-surgical therapy, we can see the uh, initial therapy which consists scaling and root planning and the antibacterial therapy which adjacent to periodontal, uh, routine periodontal therapy the improvement in oral hygiene and structure, reinforcement, and evaluation of plaque control records. Removal of all factors contributing to plaque accumulation <clears throat> because the initial thing is plaque formation. So the example we can see here, the correction of ill-feeling uh, uh, Ill feeling appearances, over contorated crowns and over restorations, etc. Now let's talk about the surgical therapy. Uh, here we can see the pocket elimination procedure. Uh, in the figure, we can see the procedure and the regenerative therapy. And in regenerative therapy, we can see the bone root replacement uh, graft, which is the second picture. We can see the whole thing in a nutshell. And number uh, two is guided tissue regeneration and combined regenerative techniques. And number three is resistive therapy, which consists flaps or without, flap, or without OCS surgery. In the third picture, we can see that the OCS surgery and last one is gingivectomy. And the last picture shows uh, all about the gingivectomy. Now, I would like to talk about the complication of chronic periodontitis. Here we can see the local complication and the systemic complications. In local complication, we can see the periodontal abscess. And the past picture mm -hmm. shows the periodontal abscess, the figure of periodontal abscess, tooth mobility and tooth loss through the expiration. And the systemic complication, we can see the infective endocarditis and the atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease, disease and the poor diabetic control. Now, I would like to talk about the prognosis of chronic periodontitis. Slight to moderate periodontitis, the prognosis is usually good provided. The inflammation can be controlled through good oral hygiene and the removal of local plaque retentive factors. In patients with more severe disease, as evidenced by a fraction of involvement and increasing the mobility, or in the patients who are non compliant with oral hygiene practice, the prognosis may be downgraded from fair to poor. Now, the topic is general principle of management of periodontal disease. Uh, first of all, the prevention is the most effective control of bacterial plaque and minimization of periodontal tissue loss. Establishment of healthy gingival control accessible to plaque control. Use of antimicrobial anti in selective cases and mucogingival surgery in selective cases. Uh, 
that's all thanks for your patient hearing and thank you it was really an amazing event thanks existential school to give me a good opportunity to talk about this topic thanks a lot thank you so much devesh chakraborty oh my god it's absolutely perfect timing you have finished just before your time uh, is not finished yet i'm surprised literally mm -hmm. for your brilliant presentation uh, can you hear me yes i can hear you okay so right now uh, um, let me correct one thing um, uh, i did a little mistake uh, for bt day uh, you guys please give uh, Love react and uh, for Devesh Chakraborty like react and for Akhila Choudhury care react. I'm extremely sorry for my mistakes. So right now uh, I want to tell my judges, uh, please say something about today's topic, chronic periodontitis. And after that, uh, uh, please sir, do something, uh, do question something to our participator. If you have any kind of queries to our uh, participator, then uh, you can go for it. So at first I want to request to Dr. Mohammad Jahid Hussain sir, please uh, discuss about today's topic and uh, the uh, presentations. Thanks, uh, Anissa. Uh, today's presentation was really nice, especially the first part uh, uh, delivered by Akila Choudhury. Her presentation is uh, full of information uh, and she, uh, all, all three did well, but uh, I found more information in Akila Choudhury's presentation and she did very well, uh, uh, presentation was smooth and also but due to more information, she could not finish by time or maybe she made very uh, hurry. But it is a good thing that uh, uh, all three, they put their maximum effort to make us understand what is chronic periodontitis and how can I understand the all things regarding background, regarding the etiology, clinical features diagnosis, management, and prevention policy. So overall, uh, the uh, presentation, they just fulfilled their, uh, <coughs> uh, their uh, I mean, job. Um, I thank to everyone and wish them very well. I mean, uh, I uh, wish them uh, every I mean, success in life. And we hope that by their presentations, other students also will be interested to participate in such a presentation, I mean, uh, uh, competition. May I ask some question or I'll ask question later? Now, sir, now you have right now. Okay. So uh, some things are actually, maybe it is not clear. Uh, which feature actually you think, uh, um, any of you, any of you, there is, uh, three can answer. Uh, which uh, features you think major features for chronic periodontitis? Pocket. We don't yeah. need it on probing. Uh, there will be gingival inflammation. The patient will complain, uh, may or may not complain. It is usually asymptomatic, uh, but it, uh, chronic periodontitis is also very site specific. There is also attachment loss and uh, bone loss in chronic periodontitis. And I think yeah. it's pocket, periodontal pocket, and also attachment loss and uh, bleeding on probing. And bad yeah. breath, obviously. Actually, we make uh, two ways, major and minor features. Actually, in Newman and mm -hmm. clinical periodontology, the latest edition, they didn't show such a, but uh, with, uh, we, according to our experience of the law, with the, uh, I mean, gradually, Karanjas clinical periodontology getting their new editions. Uh, so, actually, major features, you can say pocket and bone loss. So pocket, you will measure pocket to measure the clinical attachment loss. So the main two things can be say that pocket and bone loss are the major features. Others are minor features. You know, for gingivitis, you will find more bleeding. But in periodontitis, you will not find more bleeding. In gingivitis, the color of the gingiva is uh, more redden. For periodontitis, the color will not be more redden. You know, as we get deeper, deeper level of infection, you will find in the periodontitis. So when you find some teeth with this periodontitis, 
then you can easily understand with the patient age and uh, and patient's uh, pocket depth of the I mean, specific site. And also if we have the um, radiograph, you will find the bone loss. And the second thing is that, how to measure clinical adjustment loss? <laughs> how uh, can we measure clinical adjustment loss? Sir, uh, clinical attachment loss. Yes. Through periodontal probing. Okay. By the parental probe. Yes. Yeah. Tell me the mechanism. How can you make that as well? Firstly, suppose a mild periodontitis, you told that one to two millimeter can right? Yes. Sir. So, how can you measure one to two millimeter of clinical aspen loss from the periodontal pocket? So the demarcation is on the periodontal probe. Okay. From there, I can assess it. After Anyone uh, can usually the process is. Uh, by the working a little off, more. <clears throat> by the working a little off, more. Okay, BT. By, by the working of uh, probing, uh, uh, sorry, by the working of uh, periodontal probe in the yeah. uh, um, swelling uh, or uh, inflamed, inflamed gum. The best. You have any answer from here? <laughs> <coughs> I gave a lecture in the last, uh, I mean, uh, I think that is very informative for you. Uh, you can get this lecture in the last Gumha Bangladesh chapter. I gave a lecture. You will get all diagnosis, I mean, investigation, diagnosis uh, of periodontal diseases. Uh, we have three ways of adjustment loss measurement. If there is a no recession, then how much the pocket depth, a, a normal circular depth? Uh, about two to three millimeters. Three millimeters, okay. So, if there's no recession, you got five millimeter probing deck. Then how much clinical adjustment loss? Two to three millimeter. Five millimeter pocket depth you found. Yes. So and there is no recession. Two how much adjustment loss you got? Two millimeter. Two. How? Uh, by the Reducting. reduction yeah. of the normal circular depth from the pocket. So you should answer these things clearly. You know, but you couldn't answer. Anyway, but actually this, this presentation is not only for to get your prize. This yeah. presentation yeah. also for understanding of our all dental students of Bangladesh. <laughs> okay. So this is one way. We have another two ways of adjustment loss measurement. You will get the this clear pictures in human care clinical periodontology. As well, if I talk more, maybe our, my, our the two other judges, judges, they have more questions, I think. And you have really, I'm happy that uh, you tried well. And uh, your uh, presentation also make a, um, a good uh, Im impression. And you actually, you know, this is a very big, big chapter, chronic periodontitis. Yes, sir. <laughs> it is not possible to present only by 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> so you tried well. I just tell one more, another thing that is the, uh, yeah, who? Bithi. Bithi told that the, 500 species in the pocket. Actually, no, it is 700 and more species in the pocket nowadays. Is latest book, okay? oh, and okay. these 700 species can make individual species can make 100 to 150 sub species. Okay, okay sir. I correct okay, sir. one thing. Thank you, sir. And also, uh, you know, you showed that uh, trauma from occlusion. Yeah, but actually, this condition called pathologic tooth migration. You showed a picture, yes. trauma. okay? Yes, Pathologic yes. tooth migration, okay? Okay, sir. Yes, it is a cause of secondary trauma, secondary trauma from occlusion, but this condition called pathologic tooth migration. Okay, I sir. can Thank discuss a lot of things, but anyway, I stop now. I'll discuss later on again if I have a chance. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. My Thank you, you, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable information. So currently, I'm switching to Dr. Onupam Potar, sir. Please say something about today's topic and uh, also sir, uh, ask your questions to our participator. Thank you, Tasneem. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all presenters who give uh, uh, the presentation of all presenters are very informative and interesting. And uh, I have um, some questions. First of all, I would like to ask a question to uh, Akila, 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 Akila Choudhury. Akila, yes. please. Uh, I have a question to you. A patient come to you 
with gum decision. Yes. Patient sir. come to EU with gum decision, seven millimeter gum decision. And by measurement of the PPD, horizontal pocket depth, you, you see the PPD is five millimeter. PPD is five millimeter and seven millimeter gum decision. What is the, what are the total clinical attachment loss? Sir, the clinical attachment loss is five, sorry, seven millimeter. Clinical attachment loss, seven millimeter. Yes. Gum decision, seven millimeter. PPD, five millimeter. What is the, what is the total clinical attachment loss? Sir, um, about uh, 14 millimeter. Yeah. About 14 millimeters, sir. 14. Um, 14 millimeter. Sir, uh, if the periodontal pocket depth is seven millimeter and the gum recession is seven millimeter. So your question was total? Clinical attachment loss. Total clinical attachment loss. So it will be about seven millimeter, I think. I would go with seven millimeter. Okay. Uh, Dr. Zahid sir also um, give answer in the later on. Not, not, not now. Uh, now I'm, I'm going to the BT day. Yes, sir. Yes. In your part, you say the uh, gram anaerobic bacteria, gram negative anaerobic bacteria found in, in, more in chronic periodontitis, periodontal pocket. Why? Sir, uh, can you can you ask it again? Why um, anaerobic bacteria more in the periodontal pocket, periodontal pocket or chronic periodontitis? Why chronic periodontitis cases much more anaerobic bacteria found? Sir, uh, because of uh, Oxygen source or like maybe it's uh, uh, because of ox uh, oxygen in the pocket because here is also a pocket because gram negative uh, anaerobic bacteria uh, uh, needs uh, okay oxygen okay. And now I am going to the Devesh, but Devesh Chakraborty. Yes, Devesh. Yes, sir. What do you mean by curatives and and root planning? Sir, uh, root planning me means uh, if a patient come with uh, gene, uh, periodontal bone loss, so if I have to find out how much uh, it spared through the alveolar bone or supporting bone. I need to uh, find out. So I need to root planning to to find out how much it clinically loss. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, I am going to the Anisha Taknim. You may go to the next judges. And this answer will be given by Professor Dr. Zahid Hussain and later on, after the conclusion of Nasim Haider. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. So right now, I request you to Dr. Muhammad Nasim Haider, sir. Please deliver your valuable speech about today's topic and ask your questions to our uh, participator. Thanks, Anisha. Again, so today is the brilliant presenter, the Akila Choudhury, uh, Bithi Day, and Devashi Chakra. Sir, um, yeah. Sir, I'm extremely sorry for interruption. Uh, can you please raise your volume a little bit, sir? We can't hear properly. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Can you hear me fully? Yes, sir. Right now it okay. is clear. Thank you oh, so much, okay. sir. I congratulate all of three <coughs> participants. They are present, uh, the brilliant uh, presenter, all of three. Uh, chronic periodontitis is a big, big chapter. 
as you know that is uh, professor rai dushan sir and the on from poddar we given lecture to the uh, students in uh, third year classes but uh, chronic periodontitis uh, topics is not uh, complete within 30 minutes uh, 10 minutes so uh, all of three uh, present uh, partly uh, good good enough to know about the chronic periodontitis so uh, actually uh, chronic periodontitis uh, um big big questions and big chapter in the periodontology subject so my question uh, three questions in arise here for the three uh, uh, participants so all of disease we have some the cardinal sign so akile chudri would you give me the answer the what are the most clinical significant cardinal sign for chronic periodontitis patient you know sir, what are the uh, yes sir the uh, the most <coughs> the cardinal features for chronic periodontitis is the gingival <coughs> effect uh, the gum swelling the bo bone loss and attachment loss these are the uh, one of the most prominent features prominent features yeah yeah some of uh, prominent features you mentioned that that is good and the second uh bt day you mentioned the yes, diagnostic uh, diagnostic step that is the bup bup is the uh, mo more important in periodontitis or gingivitis bleeding or probing uh, sir uh, uh, bleeding on probing gingivitis yeah so the most important in the pocket marking in chronic periodontitis is the most significant clinical diagnostic criteria so last question uh, to the devashish chakraborty uh, devesh chakraborty sorry as uh, i mentioned the treatment plan so in chronic periodontitis when you select the patient for pocket elimination and the patient for only for scaling and root planning sir if the patient mouth condition is initial yeah so initial stage <clears throat> i can uh, uh choose the uh, second one and if the uh, if the condition is moderate to severe so i can choose the pocket elimination and the measures of pocket elimination sorry sir how you can eliminate the pocket periodontal pocket established uh, periodontal pocket what are the surgical and non surgical steps sir so surgical surgical yes sir. which which one is <coughs> the best for elimination of the pocket depth 5 mm Sorry, sir, I couldn't hear you. A patient come to you with the pocket dip, five millimeter. Yes, sir. So, what is your choice for treatment plan? Five millimeter. Five millimeter PPD, periodontal pocket dip, five millimeter. So, no, sir. Then I would not like to elimination the pocket elimination procedure. Okay, later on we discuss about this. <laughs> okay, okay. Now we thanks to all and goes to the Anisha Tani Tasnim. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, sir, uh, all our participants are absolutely brilliant. Show their presentation; it's really amazing, and it is the very important live session for all of us. I think. Sir, uh, if you want any of them, sir, if you want to give us any conclusion about today's topic, then please give us. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Dasni Anisha again. Uh, I would like to share my screen to make them understand how to measure the clinical response loss. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes, sir. We can see it. Okay, you see, 
this picture from the left to right okay left side you see this the top line is the gingival margin okay and this is a cement enamel junction and this is a lower the base of the pocket okay can you hear yes yes sir the students okay so from gingival margin to the base of the pocket is the probing pocket depth right so in this case recession is not visible as because gingiva covered the cement enamel junction okay we know gingival sulcus is 3 mm right so if this probing depth is 6 mm then we have to deduct the normal sulcular depth okay so if it is 6 mm and then as a 3 is the normal then 6 minus 3 equal 3 mm will be the attachment loss for this tooth second you see the second picture b gingival margin recessed but it is on the cement enamel junction you know we measure adjustment loss from the cement enamel junction to the base of the pocket okay this called adjustment loss or clinical adjustment loss so in this case gingival margin on the cement junction so so total depth of the pocket you know pocket depth from gingival margin to the base of the pocket right so this is a whole is the adjustment loss as because probing depth and adjustment loss will be equal because of the gingival margin resist to come on the gingival margin second condition third condition as professor anupam poddar asked the question to you you see is it, gingival margin is there a already visible recession is there you can see the recession right so from cemental junction to the gingival margin is the recession we have to measure by probe okay? and probing depth from gingival margin to the base of the pocket so how can we make the adjustment loss here probing depth plus recession will be the clinical adjustment loss so if it is the 6 mm probing depth 3 mm recession then total 9 mm will be the adjustment loss for this tooth and accordingly we have to diagnose the case understand 1 to 2 moderate mild 3 to 4 moderate more than 5 mm adjustment loss severe and bone loss you know how to measure the bone loss anyone can answer anyone can answer the how to measure the bone loss sir subtracting measurement from the crystal margin from the alveolar crest how to measure the bone loss Sir, uh, by subtracting the, uh, the okay. Tell me here. Head. Tell me, I am showing a picture. Can you see the radiograph? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So from where to here, uh, where bone loss? Tell me the, uh, I mean the marking area. From, from suppose uh, this premolar, the left one, left to the premolar. Okay. okay. So from where to where is bone loss? Uh, from the from side. cervical margin to the middle of the. um mid middle we can see the middle of the root okay suppose this tooth suppose think this is the mesial this distal yes sir okay <coughs> so so from this is the you see opaque finished line you can see this yes, yes sir it is cement enamel junction yes from here to the radiolation up to the this point okay this is the bone loss So how can you measure how much percentage of bone loss is here? How can you measure? Can you tell me this mesial side of this premolar? How much bone loss is here? How much percentage of the bone loss is here for the mesial side of this tooth? Maybe thirty percent, maybe because. Okay, I think you are not clear. Okay, fifty actually more than fifty as because how to measure then? Tell me the mechanism how to measure. I'm not sure, sir. 
Okay. Uh, From cement to normal junction, you see, OPEC finish, eh? you see, every to the OPEC finish, you see, like OPEC finish line, the cement to junction, cement to junction, okay. From here to the radio, radiographic apex of the tooth is 100%. Okay. So then you can easily find out these are most almost 55 to 60% bone loss here, okay. Hmm? Yes, okay. and this tally, this tally also may be here. 40%. So how to measure up this tooth bone loss? This is 55, suppose. This is, suppose this is 40%, okay? <clears throat> or 50%. So 55 plus 50 divided by two. This is the average bone loss of this tooth. Understand? Oh, yes, sir. 55 plus 40, maybe uh, 95. Divided by two, 45. Right, 45.2. Now, yes. 95, so it is almost 47. Right? Yes. Average of this, person of this, of this tooth. So you have to measure every tooth and make average of the mouth then. As the tooth has bone loss, every tooth you have to measure average bone loss, then make it a finalized with all teeth. Divided by teeth number, you will find the average bone loss of this mouth. And from there, you have to Diagnose the case. Understand? Yes, that uh, bone exactly. loss. So according to bone loss, you know the clearance for loss. One to two, three to four, more than five, right? Period is mild, moderate, severe. For bone loss, do you know how much bone loss for mild? How much bone loss for moderate? How much bone loss for uh, severe? Sir, uh, uh, average uh, my uh, Mild, moderate, severe. In mild, uh, maybe thirty percent, and in moderate, fifty uh, percent, or and in severe, more than sixty uh, percent. No. Anyone, Akila Devesh? <laughs> Why? Sure. You come for the presentation for chronic periodontitis. You don't know the major features. How to measure? This is not acceptable. Okay. But hope that you will try to understand now, because if you see the book, everything written clearly there. Bone loss up to 15% mild. Okay. Less than 15%. 15 to 33% is moderate. More than 33%. See, we are written in the current skinker periodontology is there. Okay. So this is very important to know how to measure the arrestment loss or measure the bone loss. Otherwise, you cannot diagnose that clearly. If your diagnosis is wrong, treatment policy is also wrong. Question came to Devesh, that uh, five millimeter pocket. What do you do? You should do scaling root, non-surgical therapy first. Always, every case is other than emergency. If there is no, uh, if there is no abscess, if there is no mobility, you have to go for, or even slight mobility, grade one mobility, you have to go for first scaling root planning, this non-surgical therapy. Every case is you do first non-surgical therapy, when the inflammation subsides, then you go for surgery. If the pocket persists after two follow-ups, how long will you do follow-up for every patient? Do you know how many months or how many weeks we just follow up the patient? Sir, uh, week basis. First mm -hmm. week, second week. After the initial treatment, first week, then the next week. After how that. many weeks or how many months after you will do the second follow-up? So about uh, one to two weeks. Hmm? Sorry. So, uh, sir, the second appointment would be about one week later. <clears throat> no. For no, for usual regimen, four to six weeks. It is written in the book. Why do you read the book? Everything in the book. You came for the presentation without reading the book. This is not acceptable. Not only your information is there, you have to uh, take insight so that you can understand easily, okay? And because periodontitis is very, very important, uh, I mean, uh, part of, I mean, disease that uh, involve the human body, you know, as because this is a disease that is multifactorial, as already you told it, it has local factors, it has systemic factors, genetic factors, environmental factors, okay? So these all things related to one disease. Why do we take it? Uh, I mean, uh, very lightly. Very, very serious disease. Even psychological stress 
make payroll breakdown if you have no money in the pocket for one month your breakdown is start in the payroll system do you know if you don't take protein regularly payroll breakdown is start so these things you should take seriously okay our students we love you we want to make understand that periodontology is a very important chapter of the dentistry because if the tomar gharer khuti jodi shokto na hoy tumi gharer chal thakbe tole tar gharer khuti shokto korte hobe na age gharer khuti shokto na thakle ami chal hoyte parbo na bera hoyte parbo na jodi apartment shokto na hoy kono kaj hobe na no filling no root canal no prostho nothing so take it seriously the periodontology one of the base of the clinical discipline of dentistry we must learn it well and we have to go with the clear understanding how to make the patient comfortable with the periodontal treatment patient will be comfortable patient can chew easily masticate comfortably deglute easily health will be okay if patient cannot take food well health will be i mean diminished you know and also periodontal is related to lot of systemic disease okay and another thing who told infective in endocarditis yeah one complication but infective endocarditis is not from periodontal disease much as because in the pocket this streptococcus is very much few number you will not find even one question came from professor onobom that why is it anaerobic pithi you could not answer because sulcus covered uh, it is covered oxygen cannot enter mm -hmm. inside क्यारिजी बडी फुल now ওখানে কি থাকে ফ্লুইডটা থাকে ফ্লুইড এর নাম কি যেটা ফেভিকুলার ফ্লুইড ফেভিকুলার ফ্লুইড ইট ইজ এ প্রোটিন ইট ইজ কাম फ्रॉम দা ব্লাড ইট ইজ সিরাম সো ব্যাকটেরিয়া দেন ক্রিসার ইন দা পকেট দে ক্যান টেক फ्रॉम সিরাম দে ডোন্ট नीड ফর ফুড फ्रॉम আউটসাইড আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ইয়েস স্যার ডিউ টু দিস রিজন দিস ব্যাকটেরিয়া আর ভেরি প্যাথোজেনিক আজ বিকজ দে ডোন্ট नीड আউটসাইড হেল্প দে ক্যান কিল आवर সেলস দে ক্যান টেক ফুড फ्रॉम आवर সেলস इवन सम एनिमल्स देयर parasite they, they can even they can take leukocyte the, our main immune cells neutrophils i mean neutrophils macrophages you know these are our body immune cells they can eat them these bacteria they can destroy them directly so who will fight with them so due to this reason we have to understand periodontitis very serious, take it seriously understand clearly i think from today you will you will start to learn more and you will also give this message to your colleagues that we have to take it seriously not very slightly okay as because periodontology very big subject we have lot of surgical procedure there are two surgical uh, i mean subject in the dentistry oral surgery and periodontal surgery okay so today we want to discuss civil surgery as because surgery is very big thing they were told some gtr uh, guided tissue regeneration many other dissective surgery digital surgery but if we talk today you will not finish maybe we can take another session okay so we hope that you will try to make yourself more learned and you will give this message to your colleagues okay thank you so much again okay dr zaid bhai happy with you always thank you so much dr zaid bhai yes i have another question dr dr devesh again devesh chakraborty curatage and root planning please oh yeah yeah it's yeah. about curatage and root planning curatage is a surgical procedure <clears throat> root planning is non surgical <sighs> procedure remember okay non surgical procedure is scaling for the supra gingival 
route planning for the sub gingival. Okay. Today your group is Gracie, right? What is Gracie? <laughs> what is, what is Gracie? Gracie? Tell me about Gracie. Please. Who can say what is Gracie? Nobody huh? knows. <laughs> it is it her? It's what is Gracie? You don't know. Nobody tells about the Gracie today. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, nobody tells about the Gracie's today. <laughs> you got the name, but you don't know. What is the meaning of the name? Okay. Grace is a curate, you know. We have two types of curates for root planning. One is universal curate. Another is area-specific curate. Area-specific curate means a specific type of curate for a specific side of the tooth. Okay. So this is called Gracie curates. Gracie was a scientist. He made these curates. So by his name, lot of Gracie, 1 to 18 number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up to 17, 18. Number of Gracie curates we have. We have big sets of Gracie for non surgical therapy. Okay. And because we, every tooth has a specific root morphology, you know, all tooth are not the same. So every site we need a specific type of curate to make root planning, good root planning. And what is the way, what is the aim of root planning? To make new attachment. Because of pocket, the root surface become pathological, the cementum lost bone loss and uh, and uh, uh, the bacteria is there bacterial and products also there so we need root planning to remove all irritants from the root surface to make it smooth like glass then new tissue will form from where from dentin you know we have odontoblast is there and also cementoblast is there they contain fibroblast it start new tissue grow prevalent ligament even attach with that to our uh, gingival tissue, okay? So root planning, non-surgical therapy to make new attachment. Understand? And if after non-surgical therapy, we have to follow up after four to six weeks, if still the pocket is more than five millimeter, then we have to go for surgery. Then we have a lot of, we have, we have gingivectomy, we have clap surgery. Usually we don't do gingivectomy nowadays, we gingivectomy make the more open tooth, so we go flap to cover the uh, more, okay? The lot of, I mean, surgical procedure, even implantology under periodontology. Okay? So curate is also another procedure for surgery. For root planning, the curate towards the tooth. For curate, curate is opposite the tooth. So we have to remove the pocket wall by the curate is. Root planning, we, re we just plane the root, understand? So same curate we can use for Root planning, also about curators. Root planning for the tooth root planning, curators to remove the pocket wall. As the pocket became pathological. So nowadays, actually, curators is not so much a popular as because curators is blind work. It cannot be solved the problem. Usually, we do flap. We open it, then we do it, and again, flap, close, OK? So thank you so much again. Maybe we have a lot of discussions. But today, uh, until now, uh, I want to finish now. But if anyone can discuss, please continue. Thank you so much, sir. Onupam uh, Puttar, sir, and Mohammad Nasim Haider, sir. If you want to share any kind of discussion with us, please share with us. No, Nasim, um, I uh, already discussed uh, our, our mentor, Professor Dr. Jahid Hussain, all about the feedback, um, the feedback of the all of the participants. Uh, I think the, this discussion is helpful for all participants and all the students of uh, Bangladesh who are, um, you are in this session. Uh, thank you all and uh, best of luck of our TV participants. Thank you. Uh, thanks to all. Uh, not anymore today's discussion. All of discussed already uh, by our beloved professor, Dr. M. Dijayi Sain about the chronic periodontitis and regarding the perspective issue arises to this uh, uh, competition. So thanks to all and thanks to Axis Dental School and also thanks to my Anupam Dr. Dada who involved me today's session. So hopefully we are looking forward to the next session, next competition. Good night. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I want to thanks to 
to the exist whole management team to give us this opportunity and exist always give us the opportunity to uh, continue class uh, with some uh, valuable teacher uh, due to lockdown we have given, we have already got this great opportunity to connect with uh, with you all of sudden thank you so much and thank you akila choudhury bitti de and devesh chakraborty all the best of uh, all of you guys and before ending this program i want to inform all of my viewers uh, this is not the end actually so our next episode uh, episode number 9 uh, will be held in 7 september 2021 and the theme is uh, uh, group is cementum and the topic necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis our participator will be maisha shaharles dhaka dental college most uh, mostrat muntaha shamsi chatogram international dental college and shajol kar city dental college all of you are cordially invited to see uh, the next episode and uh, if you give me permission sir uh, may i uh, finish this program today yes you, you make uh, in the program uh, next session will be 7th september that's 10 am in access platform see you again and uh, thanks to all access uh, member and all moderator all presenter of today to today's session and all the others thank you thank you so much sir assalamu alaikum